What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Oles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you Samsung's newest app. It's called Private Share. And it's a way to very, very securely share apps between one Samsung phone to another Samsung phone. It's crazy. So I'm going to show you the description because the description really defines everything about it. And then I'll show you it in action. So the description for this app says private share is only designated receivers can open the files. You can revoke the permission to open the file at any time. Keep your data safe through private share, share files privately, prevent recipients from resharing and set expiration dates. Anonymity is guaranteed by non-account and if the recipient receives the file, the file is deleted from the server. It shows you how to use it, which says using private share feature, you can share files such as photos, videos, recording files, and text. There are two ways to use private share feature link like below. Go to settings, biometrics, and security, private share, select a recipient from the contact list and pre press the send button. Or you can go into your gallery app or files app, select the file and tap share, and then tap private share, select the recipient of the con from your contact list and press the send button. If you select add private share to your app screen, private share icon will be added onto your screen. You can select up to five people. If you select five people over, the message will say that five people is basically the max. You can also send up to 10 files, totaling up to 20 megs at once. Private share only supports one-to-one -one file sharing. Some other key features is you can customize the file reading periods from one minute to 180 days. Default setting is two days. To change expiration date, follow the uh, below ways. Before sending the file, go to settings, biometric, fire returning, settings icon on the right top, file expiration date setting. Uh, after sending the file in the private share app, select the recipient in the list of the sent tab, select the file, what you want to change the expiration date, and you can change it that way. So if you want to download this app, what you want to do is you want to open up your Galaxy app store, because that's where it is. So on your Galaxy uh, phone, go to Galaxy store and just search for private share. Once you find private share, just tap on it and install it. I already have it installed. Once you have it installed from here, you can just hit open if you want. And that'll bring you into, um, in here, you can, you know, get it set. Other ways you can do it, just like they said, is you can, I think the easiest way is to really just go from the app screen. So swipe up, look for private share on here. I see it right there, just tap it to open it. And then the other way they were saying is if you go to settings, and then go to biometrics and security and then you should see private share in here and you do it's right there just tap it it's the same thing it brings you all to the same spot the easiest way is just to go in from the app screen and if you want to you can also add this to your home screen press and hold it add to home and it'll add it to your app screen so not my home screens so i'm going to tap right here once i have that the other thing you need to know is the other person receiving the private share file also needs to have this app installed. So it's only gonna work with Galaxy phones and it's only gonna work for people that actually have the private share app. So I'm gonna hit cancel request on this real quick. I have no, I haven't set this up with anybody. Let's go into settings real quick. Maximum time to expiration. If I want, this is just like a general sense of setting it up. It's set to two days. Maybe you want it to be zero days and you know, one hour. Let's go zero days, one hour. Or, Maybe you just want it to be like for a couple of seconds or something, a couple of minutes. So maybe we just want it to last for, we'll say 20 minutes. I'm gonna hit done. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna share my files. And these are the file uh, files that you can share. You can share images, videos, audio, and text. But remember, all the files up to 10 can only be uh, 20 megs total, which is pretty small. So it's probably gonna be mostly you sharing images, very small videos, audio files, and text. So again, just keep that in mind. This is, that's the, the file requirements pretty, file size requirement is pretty small. We'll go to images. I'm gonna choose the image that I wanna send. I'll just say I'll send uh, these two images. Once I choose the images, I can hit done. Once I hit done, I'm gonna choose the person or search for the person that I want. I can look at recent because I see myself in there. I'm gonna do Greg test. And remember, I can send this up to five different people. Once I'm done choosing the people that I want, I'm gonna hit send. And from here, 
I can send it via text message, but if you do text messages, both of you have to be using the Samsung text messaging app. I'm not using that, so I'm not gonna use that. I can also click show QR code, so if, if the person was near me, um, they could download, if they didn't have it already, download the private share app and get it that way, or I can send with an app. I'm gonna send with an app. And then I'm gonna choose the method at which I want to send the file to the person. So I'm gonna email it to them. And you can see I've shared files privately with you, get them at, and there's really nothing there. It's not a specific e um, address. It's just an address anybody could go to, but it's really uh, connected via your phone number. So once you're ready, just hit send. So at this point, I've sent the file from this phone. Now what I'm gonna do is go on to my other phone where the phone number that I sent it to. So I know for a fact that I don't have the app installed on this phone, so I'm gonna show you exactly what happened. You could be proactive and just go into the Galaxy App Store and download it on this one, but let's say you didn't. So I'm gonna go into the email that I sent myself. So here is the email that I got. Again, it just says I've shared files with you privately. I'm gonna tap on that link. And it says you've been invited to private share. Share files, prevent recipients from resharing and set expiration dates. Keep your data safe with blockchain technology. I'm gonna hit Gal uh, Galaxy App Store at the bottom here. And it's telling me to install, I'm gonna hit install. Now that I have the app installed, I'm just gonna open it right up. I'm gonna hit allow, allow. And right when I open up this app, I'm going to hit agree again. And right when I open up this app, stop, I'm going to allow that. You can see it's now telling me that it's, a file has been uh, sent to me. So what all I'm going to do is hit accept. It's going to request accept it. It's connecting. It's going to download the file here. Two files shared. I'm going to tap on that. And I can see the files that were sent to me. Again, super secure, it tells me it was, when it was sent, it tells me when it was received, when it was open, and that the, the person sending it too will be able to see this as well. And the other thing is, this won't let you take screenshots. So watch, I'm gonna try to take a screenshot. So I'm gonna show you how secure this is. Try to take a screenshot. Can't take screenshot due to security policy. Now, of course you could use another phone and take a picture of it and that wouldn't stop you, but Screenshots within here will not let you do it because of how secure this is. So pretty cool stuff. And I don't even see a way of saving this stuff either, like just saving the file. So no screenshots and no saving it as well. It will allow you a look at it, but you can't save it. So really, really cool stuff. Let me go back into here. Go into the private share app. Remember, it's only gonna be on, th this phone's only gonna be able to see the files for an hour, because that's how long I set it. So I'm gonna go back into this phone, tap on this, Greg test, hit the three dots, and I can disconnect, change the expiration date, even revoke the shared files in case I don't want anyone to see those again. So what I'll do is I'm gonna hit revoke, and then we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna choose, uh, I'll just remove one of these. So I'm gonna hit revoke, revoke that way. And there we go. And you see it automatically, without me even refreshing this, automatically remove that so the person can't see it. So there you guys go, that is Private Share. It's a new feature coming out for the Galaxy S21, but you can also use it on your other Galaxy phones. It's really, really cool. Awesome stuff, very secure. I do wish it had larger file sizes, but uh, whatever, it doesn't, not a big deal cool technology. What do you guys think? Are you, guys, are you going to use this? And in what use cases are you going to use it? Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.